Oh hiya, it's us, the Happy Brothers. How about that? Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boys. It's your, it's your boys. It's your f***ing boys. <laughs> uh. Great start. <laughs> Welcome back to Brostelja. It's time for a poo to shine. Yeah. You can't. No. You can't polish a turd. Oh, come on. You can't. You I can't shine a poo. Stop myself from saying that. It's the guy's <laughs> name. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> I caught myself. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, I'm not going to make that joke. It's low hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to lower myself to those standards. And you went and made it anyway. I did. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take. <sighs> you jerk. Oh, we've, actually, we've got. I was worried about this level because I was thinking that we had basically no money. It's been, yeah, we've, I mean, we've not, it's been a couple of weeks it now. It has been a couple of weeks since we've played this. this. It's our first session in a wee while. It's good, good to be back in the in the, in the stud in the studio. Yeah. Do we need a shorthand for studio? I don't think so. I think in, studio is a short enough word. In the stud. In the stud. In the stud. In, in the STD. In the STD. <laughs> <laughs> in the stud. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna get a little bit closer. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move the bike. Okay. Uh huh. Gonna get a bit closer to my. Bit closer to my beautiful face. Just, just a little bit closer. Just, a, just a touch closer. This. That wasp is He's get you. He's gonna get you. He's so far away. Just how, leave him. How leave am him I supposed be. to No, but like I need the money. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you took the obliteratoratron. Ob oblit yeah. What does that say? Obliteratron. Obliteratron. Obliterator that's a stupid name. That's a great name. Look at it. Who's yeah. got that whip? <laughs> <laughs> You reckon he's gonna ghost ride the whip? He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna ghost ride the obliterator tron. Ghost ride the jib. <laughs> ghost ride the jib. <laughs> in community. <laughs> oh, is it when, when he's got the boat? When they're on the boat and oh. uh, Pierce gets knocked overboard, and Troy's like, "Oh no, he's ghost riding the jib." <laughs> <laughs> I've not watched Community in ages. We talked about Community, yeah, not that long. And ago. how much you hate it, and it's the worst comedy ever. And yeah, you can't stand it's it. It's terrible. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> no, you just you oh. just hate Chevy Chase, and honestly, I, I can't Chase. really fault you for that. If I need to. But yeah, where are we? Right, so where are we? We're at Apu's level. Yeah. He, I don't know if I, oh, I don't know if I ever play, paid that much attention to the storyline, really. When I was younger, I was kind of just like, oh yeah, Apu gets a level, why yeah. not? But like, apparently his arc is that he feels guilty about the fact that he's been selling the cola to people. That makes because sense. Because the cola is like mind altering. Yeah, that tracks. Or whatever. Yeah, I did always find it was f like, find it funny that Apu is the only... Yeah, here he goes. This is him, like, lamenting. Apu's lament. <laughs> um, yeah, I found it weird that he was, like, the only character out of the main cast mm. that appears as a playable character. Yeah. Like, I would have thought there was plenty of others before Apu, mm -hmm. but I guess it makes sense. I don't know who would have worked well as a playable character, though. Yeah, I don't know. Who else have you got? Like, in terms of... Like Mo, maybe. Yeah. Oh. Or. Oh my God. Oh, your big I'm, wheels are stuck in the yeah, door. This was a bad choice of car for this. Obnoxiously. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that immediately balls that up. Okay. Good. Yeah. Who do you reckon is the character that's been in the most episodes beyond the the Simpsons? I don't know. I was watching a video the other day that popped up on YouTube, and because I like watching random, no! um, it came up on my feed, and it was like characters' first appearances in The Simpsons, like recurring characters' first appearances. I really don't you're not. You're not I, doing well. I I think I really need a faster car for this. <laughs> I think you're fine. It's just too bulky. Just um, drive better. Yeah, characters' <laughs> first appearances in The Simpsons. And it was kind of funny how late some of the characters popped up in. Mm. Um, like, some of them were really early. So, like, Skinner yeah. is, like, the first season, the first episode. The first episode. Um, like, Ralph Wiggum, Chief Wiggum. Um, oh, God, who else was there? 
Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm okay. definitely going to get a faster car. car than this. A car's pretty good. I was thinking like Mr. Burns probably appears Mr. Burns really is, early yeah. on. He's, I think he's in the first episode as well. Smithers is probably in the first episode, right? I think he's the first season. I don't think he's the first episode. Because remember, he's black. Yeah, he is. He's he, Yeah. And then they change his color to yellow for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. Um, um, Barney's in the first episode. Barney's at the bar. Moe's at the bar. Patty and Selma. Yeah. Grandpa. Grandpa. Grandpa could have possibly been a playable character. Maybe, yeah. That would have made sense. But um, what's her name? What's the, what's the lawyer's name? Um, not L- Lindsay Nagel. Lindsay Nagel yeah. doesn't appear until like season eight. That's yeah, which that, surprised that's me because she seems like such. A, she's like a C tier character, yeah. but she's always around in loads of different roles and loads of different jobs. Mm. Yeah. And it really surprised me how late she appeared. And then there's like no one else. After like season eight, nine, yeah. there's no one else until Shauna. I don't know how much of the later seasons you've watched. Is that the one that is that Bart's new teacher? No. No. It's Bart's sort of girl. It's Jimbo's girlfriend to right. start with. And then she kinda has a thing with Bart. And then it turns out she's um Superintendent Chalmers' daughter. Oh right. As well. But she's like the last char- the last recurring character to be introduced, and she's in like season twenty or something right. onwards. Huh? I thought that was wild. Like that Lindsay is Nagel wild. is one of those characters that's always around. I did see the- Gil. <coughs> Gil as well. Is Gil not in it? Oh, Gil's in like Gil's season in eight or nine as well. That was wild to me. I'm trying to think of when it is that, like, some of the Phil Hartman characters must have left a bit of a a, a vacuum. Yeah, that's true. So it makes sense that they would have had to introduce new characters around then. I, think I was thinking someone, about someone like nine. Gil, someone like Lindsay Nagel in the kind of like businessy yeah sort of roles yeah. makes sense that they would take over from like Lionel Hutz. Um, I guess Troy McClure. They kind of by that point they were famous enough that they just kept having guest stars, so they'd have guest stars instead of Troy McClure. That's true. Yeah. Um, I mean, they couldn't live up to Troy McClure. No, but. of course not. Troy McClure is amazing. Um, like, yeah, the, yeah, somewhere in the most recent seasons, because after, I can't remember her name that, that voiced, uh, Oh, Ma- Marsha Wallace. Yeah. Marsha Wallace? Could be. Yeah. I, I don't. I think, I think. I, yeah, bad with, I was going to say I'm bad with names. I'm not. I'm bad with that specific name, I guess. Um, yeah, after she passed away, they did, for a while, they kind of just didn't, like, Bart sort of didn't have a teacher. And then mm-hmm. they introduced a new recurring character as Bart's teacher. Oh, did they? Like, very recently. Oh, okay. So that may well have been... I don't know if I've seen those. Like, the most recent season or most recent could be. couple of yeah, seasons. Could be, yeah, could be. Which I've not watched any of. There, I've seen, I've seen some of them. Like, there's some episodes that are kind of good. I think we went over this. There was the episode with... Um, or maybe it was in the episode that we lost. I can't remember. Could with be. Smithers' new boyfriend. Mm. And he owns like a fashion empire. Yeah. And brings the, the business to Springfield. I can't remember. He's like the anti Burns. He's like a, a a good billionaire. Oh, right. But then it turns out he is just evil. Yeah, and he's like, there's no such thing as a good Yeah, single use fabric, single use plastics, and oh, boy. polluting the town and everything. Which is a shame because I yeah. like Smithers. I want Smithers yeah, to be he, happy. He deserves, he deserves happiness. Um, I'll go down here. He's going into the legitimate businessman social club. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm forgetting the buttons. It's you know old while. Um. Yeah, I guess that's. I've never really thought about kind of what point various characters get introduced. Yeah. It's, interesting it was it was interesting it was interesting i enjoyed watching it whoever made that video good on you you entertained me for yeah 20 minutes did <laughs> patty and or selma keep that baby for that long did that just like stop showing up Am oh I, no she's oh no she's in as she's well still in, um i still can't a, remember still a baby. her name but yeah they go to china what, am I trying to get away from You're getting from to get away from him. Oh. Why are you ramming him? I thought I was trying to <laughs> smash him. <laughs> yeah, they go uh, and to adopt a baby, and Homer has to pretend to be Selma's um, husband. Mm. 
father adopting the baby. And Lucy Liu's in that episode, I think. Lucy Liu. And it actually turned out to be really quite an offensive episode. Yeah. It, like some really not great stereotypes exhibited in that episode. Oof. But hey, what you gonna do? Yeah, not Look good. at Apu. He's a whole offensive stereotype. He really is. <laughs> it's a shame. Oh, like, yeah. because I mean, it's good, right? It's good that it was brought up and that it was addressed. It's a shame that he was so loved and had to be written out. Yeah. Like, it's for the greater good, which is fine. I accept that. But it is a shame because there's a lot of... I like a lot of the episodes that Apur is in. Yeah, it's a shame that it's now just, like, a big, like, black mark over a lot of the... Yeah. A lot of episodes that centered around Apur that aren't bad. I mean, I know, like, the... Um... Is it co- just called Homer and Apu? The one when Apu needs to... Oh, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they go to India to yeah. go to the first Quickie Mart. Yeah, that one. When he, like, stays with the Simpsons and everything. That's a fairly well-remembered episode. Mm-hmm. It's got that whole musical number and everything. Even all the later stuff. All the stuff with, like... Um, you got you got busted. I did get busted. You need to do an edit where it's the busted, but it's from GTA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With like a poof falling over and dying. Are you, do you die when you get busted? No, that's, you when, that's, when, that's when you get arrested. You get wasted. You get wasted, yeah. Do a wasted. Go and run over Dr. Hibbert and do a wasted <laughs> edit. Go on, go on. Wind him up. Wind him up and get him. Go on. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's like the later stuff with like Apu and Manjula and sort of him navigating marriage and fatherhood. I kind of like that stuff. I think that's all fun. Like Apu's a likable character. Yeah. So that's all kind of lost. But yeah, we did we did mention this before. Like I don't obviously not. I'm not Indian, so I don't. You're not. I'm no. Um, this is the first <laughs> I'm hearing of that. <laughs> so I don't really have like a. Uh, any authority to say that i don't think it's that yeah, offensive that, that's the kind of there thing. are obviously a few bits that are yeah looking back but i think generally he's not just like entirely bad stereotype i think i think it's more to, just his conception the idea of yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah the idea of south a, asian the idea corner, of a, a corner white, shop white owner man is playing, and, uh, playing yeah, that character and the fact that it's a white great. guy um hank azaria has unfortunately done a few of those roles yeah um have you seen the birdcage no uh like a straight white man playing a very gay hispanic man it's not well not great there's the character of julio i think his name is oh yeah who gets yeah, introduced yeah, yeah. i'd i'd wager it's one of the main cast that voices him it, either it hank probably is hank as area to be Kassel, honest because yeah. it's almost exactly the same yeah character do i oh, i do have, i have just enough money so now i am out of money Oh, and like yeah, I don't know. It's there was another thing I was watching that came on today, um, and it was addressing it was event Nicole Brown. We're going back on Community now. Mm-hmm. The remember like what well, must have been a couple of years ago now, when all the streaming services decided to like go back to their backlog and basically wipe out any episodes that contained dodgy stuff in it. Mm. And one of the episodes of Community is the the Dungeons and Dragons episode. Yeah, where Ken Jong um, does like the joke is that he doesn't realize that it's blackface because he's yeah. playing a dark elf. Yeah, it's not, and it's like addressed. It's addressed that it's like satire, and the joke is that he doesn't realize that that could be offensive. Mm-hmm. And it's very funny, and it's a really good episode as well. And Yvette Nicole Brown and. Um, I was about to call him Childish Gambino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Donald Glover yeah. are obviously black as well. Like they're they were part of the show, a big part of the show, especially with like writing and contributing. So the fact that they okayed it must have meant something. But then all the people on the streaming services were like, nah, this has blackface in it. It's getting it's getting removed. It's getting wiped. Mm. And it's like why? Yeah. Like I get it in some cases. Like, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. that's um, the kind of thing that should be... those. Se- either 
pulled or mm-hmm. that scene should be wiped completely you know i was i was in a charity shop the other day and they had a dvd i was really tempted to buy it they had a dvd copy of um uh is it the conqueror it's called the one with john wayne where he plays genghis khan oh my god and he's like yeah yeah he's basically like in full face makeup the yeah, entire time that's... it's oh not great no um definitely this is like one of those very controversial films it's remembered exclusively for <laughs> that reason um yeah i was tempted to buy it i thought it'd be kind of funny yeah. to have that on dvd we could have done that as movie night or oh, we could have riffed it the whole time yeah but like yeah it's those kind of things that need oh sort of God. oh you need to go and get this cash. is like this yeah this point in the game you just need to keep farming keep for that. coins it sucks but yeah, um, like all that stuff, that's the kind of stuff that needs to be addressed because that was done entirely unironically. There's no satire there. Yeah. It is just a white person not only playing like a non-white role, but playing off like all the offensive stereotypes of <laughs> of that role. Yeah. Whereas think like the other ones, it's always sunny where it's a group of characters who are awful human beings yeah and don't realize how awful they are and played purely for satire and mm-hmm. like a couple of their episodes got pulled as well because there's episodes where they do like blackface or like offensive there's things. like the lethal weapon one the lethal yeah. weapon one yeah and like the whole joke is that they are white guys not realizing how offensive it is to do that yeah <laughs> to dress up as kinky frinky kinky frinky oh boy um as like i presume it's meant to be like danny glover's character in lethal weapon yeah and it's like do do you do you not understand do you not do you not understand satire like they're not saying this is okay the whole premise of the show is basically them doing horrible things and laughing at why it's horrible for them to do that yeah i don't know that uh, those kind of things bug me did you see uh did you see what richard dreyfus said recently uh, do I want to know? Will I lose respect for Richard Dreyfuss? Absolutely. Oh dear. It was it was pretty bad. It wasn't like he didn't say the N word or anything, but like um, when you have to preface it with that, yeah. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, you know, he didn't he didn't call for children to be murdered or anything. Yeah. Um, he. I think we did that last episode. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what I can't remember what the context was, like what it was that brought it up. I think it was just the kind of talking about like it was just someone talking about blackface in general Mm -hmm. and like why it's not okay and he basically said like it i i am disappointed by the fact that as a white man i will never have the chance to play a black character oh my god no and it's like that's (laughs) really not (laughs) the thing to be upset about richard like yeah it's yeah. genuinely such a wild thing to That's say. Disappointing. It's a weird horse to have in that race, you know? Nope. He blew himself up. He did. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like, without a doubt, like, obviously, especially white folk should not be yeah. playing other ethnicities. Yeah, um, absolutely. But there are those instances in, like, in like it's always sunny in community i'm sure there are other shows that were like pulled for similar reasons where i would say it's justified within the context of the show yeah i guess um and like by pulling them it doesn't it doesn't benefit anyone Mm -hmm. it's not like any of these people are actively going out and saying yeah go ahead do blackface it's hilarious ha 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 like the whole the whole joke within the context of the show is how bad it is yeah and how nobody should be doing this mm-hmm. so it, oh uh, hallelujah yeah, our problems know. are solved we have banana oh, bread coins the problem is i bet you i bet you what's going to happen is i'll get just enough coins to buy this outfit i'll go and i'll finish the mission and then as soon as i try and start the next mission it goes oh you need to buy another car i don't i think they only have a couple each level i don't think they have that many but how much? How much do you want to bet? I don't know. I have a gambling problem. How much do you, you want to bet? have a gambling problem? A tenner. <laughs> I, be- I, be- I will bet you a tenner that the next level All right. does not have a, a, a buy thing. 
Okay. A, a purchase option. All right. Do we need to shake on it? You gonna honor your? You gonna I'll honor. I don't. I don't need. I don't need to shake on it to, for me to honor it. Okay. Good. Go up here. I'm just gonna continue having a farm for some for some cash. Did you enjoy Eurovision? I know you were watching Eurovision. I enjoyed some of it. Did you enjoy getting tanked with your pals? Uh, I, yeah, I didn't get that drunk. Oh, okay. I woke up a bit hazy in the morning, but wasn't I, it wasn't as drunk as I have been at previous Eurovisions. Mm. Last year was a notable one for me having like a three-day hangover afterwards. Oh, but boy. This year was it was bearable. It wasn't wasn't too bad. I'm gonna remember that that gambling thing is there, that, that gambling race, and I can come back and do that and oh, make yeah. a little bit more money. Because I think that's probably me gotten all the vending machines and everything. Just yeah, probably gotten a bunch of them. I can go back to the older levels and try and farm for some more if I have to. Yeah. So did you enjoy Eurovision? Yeah, it was pretty good. Did you get tanked? Uh, fairly, yeah. I wasn't like completely, completely rat arsed, but I did have quite a bit. We did a sweepy. We Good. pulled some, pulled the countries out of the hats and did oh, yeah. a sweepy. And I got Portugal, who, okay. who went second. And the whole thing, unless you're aware, is that unless you're not aware that no one who has gone second in Eurovision has ever won. Um, so yeah. So that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Portugal's entry was really good. I really liked was it. Was it? I don't even remember Portugal's one. Yeah. Yeah, no one does because they went second. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Where do I need to go to buy clothes? I like... I, I think that you just need to... There will be one somewhere. I don't know where else there is. There's the DMV, isn't there? Oh, they might have one, yeah. I liked... Um, Austria's. The one about Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, that they were was the ones a, that, that was went a first, banger. They, they, yeah, they were good. Um, I liked Finland. Finland should have won. Lots Finland of people were saying the one hundred percent should have won. Sweden's was garbage, and I don't know why people voted for Sweden's, it. It yeah, was awful. Sweden's wasn't great, and she had won already. She yeah. won like ten years ago. Yeah, what was that about? I don't know. There was a whole thing. Did you see the whole controversy with Poland's entry? Which one was Poland's entry? I don't remember. They weren't very good. Um, but there was a whole thing that they um, they had a public vote to see, or there is usually a public vote to see who gets nominated for each country. Okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure how it works. But they specifically ignored the public vote because, I don't know if it was, I, I don't, could be wrong but i think it's because they were either gay or trans the person Ooh. that won they specifically disregarded them and it was like the the person that won it instead after they implemented that it was going to be a new jury system or something like the it was like the mum of one of the backup dancers or something was on the jury it was like something completely ridiculous. Okay. Um. So yeah, very fraudulent, and everyone that's everyone in Poland was very mad about it. I I'd be mad about that. Yeah. I don't even remember which ones they were. So no, I, they weren't very good. It was like it went from being a from being a banger into being a uh, a bonger. A b <laughs> yeah, it was a bonger. I I forget which one I need to buy. It's the American one. It's the one, American it? one. If I, could you imagine if I bought the wrong one? That would be very annoying. I think we should maybe call it there for an episode. I know we're going to do one for one for each one. Yeah, but we've been chatting we've, quite we've, a while. We have been chatting, and it has been, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll see you next time with more Apu in his big old hat. Big hat. Bye.